Okay, uh, hello everyone. I'm gonna explain one of the questions on your homework. So that's number six on page 36. Uh, page 66. Uh, assigned as homework today. So first of all, read this question. So a skater on reaching a speed of 20 meters per second began uh, gliding and came to rest after traveling 20 meters. So and then find the time required and then deceleration he experienced after reaching his maximum velocity. So first of all, you need to make a list of known information. Uh, so obviously the uh, uh, it's going to take some time for the skate to to reach the speed of 20 meters a second, but that's not our interest. Our interest starts from uh, when the skater established the velocity, and starting from now, it began gliding, so that means sli uh, slowing down, and finally came to rest. So obviously we know the initial velocity, that's 20.0 meters per second, and uh, after some time, we don't know, and it reached the final velocity equals zero. And over this time period, uh, it traveled uh, 2200 meter. Okay, and also we don't know the acceleration, so T acceleration is unknown. So you can tell from here we know three pieces of information, and that's enough to solve the problem. And we need to find out the other two information time, we don't know, in acceleration, we don't know, we need to find them out. Okay, so that's step one, we list all the information we know. Step two, and that's optional, but I always recommend that you draw a velocity time graph. Okay, so let's draw the velocity time graph. So uh, this is velocity, meter per second is a unit, and the time, second. So we don't really know how much time it takes. That's the variable we need to know. So, but we know the initial velocity is at 20 meter per second. So it, it should go straight down to zero velocity. And we don't really know how much time it takes. And this is the T we labeled here, which is actually the variable we need to find it out. And also, you know, on a VT graph, the slope uh, is actually the acceleration. Now you can see I draw a straight line for the VT graph, so that means the acceleration is constant. Uh, even though this information you don't really uh, can tell from the question, but it's implied, otherwise you can't even do the question. Okay, step two, understand? Uh, you have a VT graph. Okay, uh, step three. So, you know, you try to f solve it. So you go and pick a formula, right? But uh, and uh, see, for example, the one of the formula is the D equals, uh, sorry, the D equals average velocity times time. And you know the average velocity when acceleration is constant equals v initial plus v final divided by two times time. Okay, that's enough. So we plug in the d as 200, and the initial velocity is 20. Final velocity is zero divided by two times the time. Uh, that's easy to do, and this is solve the time. The equation you solve here. So you should get 20 seconds. See, we keep three second digits. Okay. Uh, and also, even uh, if you don't like it this way, so you can use the graphing method. Look at here, that's the area, right? So the area is actually equals the displacement. Okay, so according to this, so displacement equals 200. And the area we know we use one half base, which is a t time t times height. Height is like 20 here. This is actually the velocity. Okay, solve this simple equation. Actually, you can compare these two equations. They are very similar. They are exactly the same, actually. 
So then you solve this, of course, you, you're gonna get the exact same results. Okay, so for for the B, now that's we just done the A, right? For the B, uh, you need to find out the acceleration. So this is actually uh, A. And then for B, uh, you need to find out the acceleration. And then that's easy, you pick a formula. Once you got the time, so the acceleration just equals V final minus V initial divided by the T time. So V final velocity equals zero, minus initial is 20.0 divided by the time, which is 20.0 seconds. So you can tell you should get negative 1.00 meter per second squared. Don't forget it, there's a square on the time. Okay, so that's done here. Thank you.